Hi guys, I'm Nigel Gardner and welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking about three semitone bends. So I called this video Bend It Like Gilmore, kind of because of that famous Bend It Like Beckham film. You probably don't know, I don't know why I bothered. Anyway, let's look at the first lick. This one uses uh, the technique of bending from the fifth note in the scale to the minus seven. Okay, the backing track for this video, by the way, is in B minor, probably because I've spent countless hours playing along with the backing track of Comfortably Numb on YouTube. I'm sure I'm not the only one, right? Let's look at this next lick, bending the root note of a B minor scale up to the minor third, B to D. Um, I've put it in two different octaves because why not? Okay, I just want to take a moment to look at this diagram at the fretboard. You can see the root to the flat third and the fifth to the flat seventh. They're the two places we're going to find that three semitone distance between. And they sound, they just sound really effective. Like technically there are some others. You can see between the second and the fourth, that's three semitones. And between the fourth and the flat six. But for this video, I thought I'd keep things pretty simple just with these two particular intervals. All right, let's take a look at a lick which uses both of those interval bends. So root to minor third and fifth to minor seven. Okay, same lick now, but in a higher octave. By the way, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I have a Patreon page as well, which I'd like to just mention. The link is in the description and all of the diagrams and tabs are available over there for free. Uh, go and check it out, thanks. All right, back to the diagram just really quickly. You'll see that if you bend the minor third up three semitones, you get to a flat five, which is the note which is characteristic of the blues scale. You might know that from, you take a minor pentatonic, you put the flat five in, you've got a blues scale. Um, I've written a couple of licks here, which I think are pretty cool, where you get to bend that minor third up and use that blues note. Um, just let's check them out, see what you think. Some of you might be familiar with Chris Buck's characteristic style of bending up to a note and then sliding to it. That's kind of what I've got going on here. Um, here it is again in a higher octave. Alright, now lastly, I'm just going to put these three bending ideas into one lick. So we've got root to minor third, minor third to flat fifth, and then fifth to minor seven. Uh, check it out. And again in a higher octave. All right, guys, that lick takes us to the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this stuff useful, please remember that Patreon link. Please like and subscribe. It helps so much. I can't even tell you. And please leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think of this stuff, especially these licks. Um, I'll see you again for another video. Until next time, stay classy.